I am here with Marcus Henderson, who plays Walter in what a lot of people, in fact, the majority of people on RottenTomatoes.com think was the best movie of 2017, Get Out. Yeah. When, when you were making this movie in the sweltering, from what I understand, Alabama, yeah. could you ever have imagined, and then it comes out even, it came out a year ago. It came out a year ago. Here I we mean, are. A year ago from today, I was working on a play at the Kirk Douglas, and nobody knew what this movie was. They just saw a commercial of a man running towards another man, and like, they just were like, what is that? You know, so but. Talk about what this last year, a lot, of, a lot has happened. Uh, man, so much has happened in this last year. I think, uh, you know, especially with the movie, I feel like it's gone in these phases. Like, first it was all this box office talk and breaking these records, and then it came about the the sort of social commentary that the film was making. Then when it jumped into award season talk, it started talking about what category it was going to be in. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's transcended so many categories that, like, what? why do you even want to put it into one? Right. You know, so I, I just think that, you know, whatever the category is, I'm just so honored that we get the recognition uh, that I feel like we deserve. And I feel like it's a culmination of all the great energy that we all put to the movie in the first place. Talk about how Jordan also helped you to coax out what yeah. you had to communicate. And well, you have a few moments in there and you tell you, And you got to execute with those few moments. I mean, uh, you know, one of the things that we talked about was that when you're in the sunken place or not necessarily in the sunken, just in the sunken place, but when someone has inhabited your body, it's like you have to be that person. So I was Roman for the majority of that film. And, uh, and what I was doing was I was keeping a secret. I had a secret that I had to keep. And, you know, I think uh, when anyone has a secret, there's something that kind of lies beneath the eyes. And I think that's the real trick to it. What in the real world, you know, is the sunken place a real thing? Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, it's just, uh, it's to represent the marginalized, the, the ones who don't have a voice, the voiceless. Um, and whether we know it or not, you know, sometimes you can unconsciously be there and not even know it until someone literally flashes you out of it or wakes you up so you can get woke. Right. You know, uh, that, that's, that's really what it inhabits. Last question. There are people, you know, there are certain assumptions that are made in all kinds of ways about people, but I've loved seeing that the people who really love Get Out are not who you would automatically assume, and nobody loves it more than Norman Lear. Exactly. Right? So talk about what who, is that about, right? man? I mean, this guy had to be <laughs> removed from the stage. He had so many things to <laughs> say about Get Out. So who other than him, is there somebody else for you where, you know, you thought they might just be polite, oh, we loved your movie, whatever, but like, just ran wild. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was just talking to Guillermo del Toro and the way he was talking about the movie, I was like, dude, you know we're in the same race, right? Like, you know that you're like, you're not, it's not a competition really, but it's kind of a competition. And you're, okay, man, I love, you know, and I spread the love back, but to, to hear him talk about fantasy and genre horror and things like that, and like, and, uh, you know, it's, it was amazing, you know, just amazing to hear him talk and I love that dude so much. So like, you know, it was great. Congratulations. Thanks, Good to man. see you again. Appreciate Thanks. That. All right.